today we're gonna take a closer look at alpha trees the amazing add-on from strike digital that we talked about briefly in our new add-ons video and i believe you should check it out if you haven't alpha trees is an add-on that allows you to render massive nature scenes in a fraction of the time you would need to render using normal 3d models which are usually extremely resource intensive and could be even impossible to render without using huge amounts of ram that's because Alpha Trees uses PNG images to replace the heavy 3D models, and the good thing is, they look just as good. The Admiral offers a huge library of flat PNG tree cards, of course with a lot of customization and control over the density, scattering, and even the materials. It can also detect other nature assets add-ons like Botanic, which you can bake their high detail 3D models and use their 3D assets within Alpha Trees library. You can also export biomes that you like and import them into any project. Moreover, the recent 2.2 update brought Scatter 5 integration, a huge update to the weight layers engine with 5 new layers, enhanced UI, and a full rewrite of the preset system, just to name few things. Alpha Trees is offering two versions, Light and Pro, with varying degrees of content. To get started, you will find Alpha Trees add-on in the end panel of your 3D viewport. The add-on is divided into three sections. Alpha Creator, Import Section, and Weight Layer Section. Under Import, you can choose between particles or objects. Clicking the thumbnail will give you access to the full list of the trees that the add-on provides. You can pick any number of trees you want, and if you already know the tree you are looking for, there is a search function for easy access, where you can type the name of the tree to easily filter the trees you need. Now, select the tree you want, and click Import to add the tree in your scene. To customize your tree, you can jump to the material section and adjust almost every aspect of how it looks, such as colors, number of leaves, shadow sharpness, randomness, snow, and much more. You can also activate the tracking option, which allows you to parent your trees to any camera in the scene, and the trees will always face the camera. Furthermore, you have an option to copy settings between multiple trees by using the copy button, which you can find in all the sections. Now, if you want to scatter multiple trees on your terrain, you can pick the option particle and simply add a new slot using the plus icon next to the outliner, and add a new biome by clicking the new settings button. Biomes are a group or a collection of multiple trees and their settings that can be automatically scattered across multiple objects, but instead of scattering one tree at a time, you are scattering a whole system of trees and you can control their density, scale, spacing, tilt, and any types of trees included in the biomes. When you first add biomes, the animal will use a placeholder object instead of a tree until you manually select one from the tree section. You could add as many trees as you want here. You can preview everything in real time in the viewport without issues because a tree has very little geometry. You can further optimize the scene by lowering the quality of the trees and adjusting the quality between high, medium, or low. Alpha Trees comes with a library of about 150 of all types and sizes, including 70 deciduous trees and 50 coniferous trees and 20 small trees and shrubs. And as we said before, you can easily search through the library by names, species, size, or tags to find exactly what you are looking for. Alpha Trees also has a robust and powerful scattering system built on Blender geometry nodes that allows you to cover your terrain in trees and you can do that with ease as you get full access and control to trees density, rotation, randomness, and even wind animation. Additionally, you can procedurally control the density and scale of the trees using the powerful weight layer system which allows you to affect weight map based on terrain slope, height, or distance from the camera. You can also create as many layers as you want. There are adjustment layers such as color, range, clamp, or math. Also, we have generators like slope, point, mesh proximity, and height. Another great feature of Alpha Trees is the seamless integration with Scatter 5 with 28 pre made biomes. This allows you to have a realistic and natural selection of trees. As a consequence, you will have a convincing forest easily in a short period of time. Scano 5 also allows for a more robust distribution features such as clamping, manual distribution, ID maps, and a lot more. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about how you can generate new trees using alpha trees. If the built-in library of trees isn't enough and you want to expand your collection or you have a very specific tree model that you want to incorporate in your scene, you can convert almost any 3D model you want to alpha trees and you can do that very fast. 
In the Alpha Creator section, pick a tree model and hit Bake Maps. This will render out the color map as well as normal, shadow, and mask passes. And later the add-on combines them into an alpha tree that you can use like any other. You can also batch convert trees by picking the batch option and selecting multiple trees all at once. The Alpha Creator has a couple of customizations for baking like border padding, resolution, and samples, which allows you to pick the quality and resolution for your textures. But the process is extremely straightforward and really easy to go through. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.